I'm Wendy Sanasi from Earthspark International, and um, our project is Innovation to Solve Energy Poverty in Haiti. So Haiti is considered as one of the poorest countries in the Western Hemisphere, and also suffers from energy poverty. So what is energy poverty? It is access or over reliance on a source of energy which is unhealthy, unsafe, and prohibitive to development. This is the real life for 70% of people living in Haiti right now. Yet, yeah, 70% of the Haitian population don't have access to electricity. Earthspark International is in Haiti for 10 years already, and we're trying to solve this problem by building a microgrid in rural areas in Haiti. In 2015, we inaugurated a small grid in a remote area in the south of Haiti. Why remote? Well, this is the place where the national grid might never go or might take years and years to reach there. So in this small grid, which uses like smart meters and technology, 450 homes and businesses are able to have access to a clean energy using solar panels and batteries and a backup generator which makes sure that those people are enjoying electricity 24 hours a day. It's a very simple technology. So if you're a customer in the town of Les Angles in Haiti and you want to buy electricity, it's very simple. It's as if you're going to top up your phone. You just go to see a local energy vendor. He's going to take out his tablet or smartphone and look up your address on his local vendor account. And then within ten, one minute, he can top up your account. By the time you're back home, you already have electricity. This is a prepaid system, which is ideal for situation like rural Haiti. Why? Because at the end of the month, the customer won't get a bill that he cannot pay. So there's no debt for the customer. And it's also very easy for the operator because the operator can easily manage the collection of payment. You don't have to run off the customers to have them pay their bills every month. Another advantage of the um, small grid is that you have remote monitoring of a customer's account. For example, if you're a customer and you don't have electricity in your home, you can come and see the operator and he has access to all your historical data. He knows how much energy you've been consuming, he knows the amount of voltage, the current, and he can even solve the issue with just one simple click from a computer or a smartphone. The smart grid has also allowed us to help monitor non-technical losses, or if you want to say, it's like energy theft. The technology allows us to see if there's any discrepancy between energy that's being consumed by the customers and the energy that's being delivered to their homes. If ever there's a case of theft with a smart meter and a smart technology, we can do remote disconnection. I'm in Wayakir right now. If I need to disconnect a customer in Les Anglais, I can do it from here, if I have my smartphone and I have internet access to it. So just a click and the customer meter can be turned off. That meter was designed and developed in Les Anglais about five years ago when looking for a solution for the market in Les Anglais. And today this smart meter is being used in over 23 countries around across the world. So now in Les Anglais, while 70% of people in Haiti don't have access to electricity, people in Les Anglais can watch TV, can listen to the radio. They were able to watch the World Cup matches. They have access to cold drinks, cold beers. Kids can study at night. 
businesses can run 24 hours a day. People who, have, uh, who, for, who are farmers, they can process their corn with electric mills. The grid has transformed the life of the people in Les Anglais. Earthwork International has the ambitious project of building 20 microgrids in rural areas in Haiti. And uh, we are starting, we are expanding our operations. We are launching a second grid this year in another town. This will provide access to energy, to clean energy, to an additional 350 homes and businesses. So by the end of the year 2021, we want to have 20 microgrids using smart technology and reliable energy, renewable, available 24 hours a day. This will be available to 40,000 people in rural Haiti. And this will make them save about 64,000 US dollars every month on unreliable sources like kerosene, candles, and like fuels like gasoline and diesel, which have a negative impact on the environment. So really, energy, electricity in itself, it's useless. It's meaningless. It is what you do with electricity that can transform lives. There is a big challenge for Haiti to eliminate the problem of energy poverty. But if you come to Haiti, and if you come to Les Anglais in the south, you can see that there's a good potential to eliminate that problem. Thank you.